There are many companies around the world developing personal eVTOL aircraft. However, the Swedish company Jetson stands out. The success of Jetson 1 can be attributed to its simple configuration, compact design, and excellent maneuverability. In this video, I'll explore the technology and the operating principles behind the different movements of this aircraft, and I'll show how a pilot can perform those spectacular maneuvers on this extremely fun-to-fly all-electric ultralight. The design of an EV tall aircraft starts with the propulsion system. Jetson 1 is an octocopter or an H8 multicopter. This configuration uses eight brushless outrunners electric motors, mounted on four arms on an H-shaped frame. Brushless motors are electronically driven, while brushed motors are mechanically driven. The absence of brushes eliminates problems associated with overheating and breakdowns. Brushless motors are more efficient, allow for precise speed control and require less maintenance. Every brushless motor is equipped with an electronic speed controller, or ESC, a device that allows the aircraft flight controller to adjust the speed of the propellers. Outrunner motors have the permanent magnets placed on the rotor, and the rotor spin with the outside case. This suggests that the propeller will spin along with the outer motor case. On the inside of the motor are the stator windings that don't rotate, they're fixed in position. Jetson makes use of two blades, fixed pitch propellers. They transform rotary motion into linear thrust. The cross section of a propeller blade is airfoil shaped and it generates lift through pressure differences, similar to the cross section of an airplane wing. It would make sense to add more blades and generate more thrust, but two blades propellers are the most efficient. As a blade spins, it leaves turbulence that reduces the efficiency of the blade that follows. Also, adding more blades to a propeller increases its drag and mass, making the motor work much harder to spin the propeller, resulting in lower flight time. For these reasons, two is the minimum number of blades a propeller can have to maximize efficiency and maintain balance. Jetson 1 uses something called coaxial motor arrangement, where the propulsion units are mounted in pairs on the same vertical axis. This arrangement allows maximizing the amount of propulsion that you can get in a limited space. For example, we can compare Jetson 1 to Rise Aero. Both are personal EV tall multicopter aircraft. Rise's aircraft has six propulsion units in a planar configuration, while Jetson 1 has eight propulsion units in a coaxial arrangement. We can see how the coaxial configuration uses smaller propellers and less area, which translates into a smaller aircraft footprint. Some other advantages of coaxial motor arrangement are redundancy. If one motor fails, the aircraft can still maintain balance in the air and land safely. Mobility. It's possible to make the frame foldable to easily transport the aircraft. One of the main disadvantages of this configuration is the loss of thrust. The bottom propeller encounters sped up air and loses efficiency. Coaxial propulsion units needs about 17 to 29% of more power to produce the same thrust. Increasing the distance between the two propellers will reduce this loss. To hover in place, the cumulative thrust produced by the propellers has to be equal to the weight of the aircraft plus the weight of the pilot. For example, with a pilot's weight of 80 kilograms, each propeller would need to generate 21 kilograms of thrust to hover. As you may notice, four propellers spin clockwise while the other four spin counterclockwise. Each motor stator provides the necessary torque to the rotor part. And according to Newton's third law of motion, the rotor should give an equal amount of torque back to the stator. Since all the stators are fixed to the frame of the aircraft, the total reaction torque would generate an unacceptable aircraft spin. To avoid this effect, the diagonal pairs of propellers spin in opposite directions. This technique entirely cancels the reaction torque, allowing the aircraft to hover in place. To perform yaw rotation or spin, the propeller speed of the diagonal pairs is changed. Since the reaction torque is proportional to the propeller speed, the net reaction torque will make the aircraft spin and achieve yaw motion. To perform forward motion, 
The speed of the front propellers is reduced while the speed of the rear propellers is increased. This combination will cause the pitch motion, tilting the aircraft forward. Then by making all the propellers speed the same, and balancing the vertical component of the propeller forces with the total weight of the aircraft, the resulting horizontal force will make the aircraft move forward. Similarly, to perform roll motion, the speed of the propeller pairs on the right and the left side are altered, and the resulting imbalanced force rotates the aircraft. A flight computer assists the pilot with the control of the aircraft. It contains an inertial measurement unit or IMU with triple redundant sensor architecture. The IMU provides acceleration and orientation data that is used to calculate position and velocity. This device consists of three independent gyroscopes to measure and report angular rate, three independent accelerometers to measure and report specific force, and three independent magnetometers to measure and report the magnetic field surrounding the system. To command Jetson 1, the pilot has two controllers, a throttle lever on the left hand and a three-axis joystick on the right hand. The lever controls the amount of thrust on the motors, and the joystick controls the pitch, roll and yaw rotation. This aircraft is capable of hands-free hovering, and it also has emergency hold function. Jetson 1 uses LiDAR for obstacle and terrain avoidance. The airframe is all aluminium 7020. The design mirrors a race car chassis with a safety cell and crumble zones to protect the pilot in the event of an accident. Another safety feature is a ballistic parachute of rapid deployment time. It is important to mention that Jetson 1 can fly safely with the loss of one propulsion unit. Distributed electric propulsion is having multiple motors and propellers on the aircraft. And if one motor or propeller fails, the other working propulsion units can safely land the aircraft. Lastly, to power the eight brushless outrunners electric motors and the flight controller along with all the sensors, there is a 52 volts high discharge lithium ion battery. If you learned something from this video, please give it a like. I recently opened the eVTOL Innovation Sponsorship Program, where I offer a limited number of sponsorship opportunities in my channel. They are an easy and effective way to promote your product, service, or content in front of a large audience. It also helps me to continue producing these videos. Go to evtallinnovation.com to learn more about it.